Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing great and uh, before I get started with this game uh, I would just like to uh, turn your attention to the quote uh, above the board. It says any AI smart enough to pass a Turing test is smart enough to know to fail it. It's a quote by Ian MacDonald from River of Gods and uh, when I read this I, I really got the goosebumps. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, very powerful stuff. Uh, so I don't know, <laughs> do you enjoy it as well or is it just me? Uh, so about this game, what do I mean by the title that uh, Alpha Zero refutes E4? I know it sounds a bit dramatic, but uh, until proven otherwise, uh, Alpha Zero is the strongest chess entity in the world that ever existed. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we only, we only have uh, ten games played uh, between Alpha Zero and Stockfish. Uh, it would be better if we had more, but uh, we don't. So. In the games we have, uh, Alpha had the black pieces in a couple of games, but mostly had the white pieces. And in the game uh, that it had the, the black pieces, uh, Stockfish opened with e4, and uh, Alpha immediately went for the Rui Lopez, the Berlin defense. So obviously, uh, that's, uh, that's just one uh, aspect of, of it. And uh, in all the other games, um, Alpha played uh, something like d4, knight f3, and Stockfish always ended up playing uh, the Queen's Indian defense, which uh, Alpha really had no problems destroying. Now, this game is very interesting uh, because we'll, you'll see in the first couple of moves. Alpha goes for uh, d4, we have e6, uh, we have the Horowitz defense, knight to c3, knight to f6, and now Alpha plays e4, and we have d5. And w what this means is that uh, Alpha doesn't mind playing against the French defense. Uh, it only minds playing e4 on the first move. Because as we, we've seen when Stockfish has the white pieces, and when Stockfish plays e4, Alpha goes for the Berlin defense. So although it doesn't mind playing uh, against the French defense, it will not play e4 and reach uh, the French defense through e4. But it will reach the French defense through d4. So I'm very interested... Uh, what are your experiences? Uh, have you ever, if you're an E4 player, have you ever played against uh, a stronger opponent or an opponent of equal strength that plays uh, the Berlin and, uh, I mean, of course, I mean classical time control in tournament chess? And uh, how did you end up playing that game? Did you win or was it uh, simply too too hard? Uh, so okay, uh, we have the classical variation of the French defense: E5, uh, Knight F to D7, uh, F4 now, C5. Knight to f3, knight c6, bishop to e3, bishop to e7, queen to d2, a6, bishop to d3, and the stockfish pushes c4. Uh, we have bishop to e2, and I don't know, I always uh, thought that in pretty much every variation of the French, this uh, c4 push isn't really good for black. Uh, bishop to e2, we have b5 now, uh, a3, stopping b4 for, for a while, uh, rook to b8, now castles by alpha, castles by stockfish, and f5. Uh, we have a5, preparing b4 now, uh, f captures on e6, f captures on e6, and now bishop to d1. Uh, meeting uh, b4, uh, so it opens up the e2 square for the knight, so the knight can retreat. Uh, b4 by stockfish immediately, a captures, a captures, and knight to e2. And here we have c3. Stockfish uh, kind of decides he wants to sacrifice a pawn, uh, to kind of to kind of cripple White's position, but uh, you'll see what happens. Uh, we have B captures on C3, and now Knight to E6, the uh, Knight to B6. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, and here Queen to E1. Uh, Alpha doesn't want to capture C capture some B4. If C capture some B4, uh, then Knight to C4 attacking the Queen and the Bishop, so the Queen can only defend it from C1. So Queen C1, Knight capture some B4. And uh, it seems uh, Alpha ev evaluated that uh, Stockfish would have compensation for the pawn in this position. So after knight b6, first queen to e1, now knight to c4, uh, bishop to c1, so freeing the room for the bishop on c1, and now b captures on c3. Uh, queen captures on c3 and uh, queen to b6. Uh, we have king to h1, uh, this pawn was pinned to the king, so Alpha immediately unpins. Uh, knight to b2, and now either bishop captures or knight will capture bishop on d1. Either way, uh, Stockfish will win the, the bishop pair. And knight to f4 now, uh, knight captures on d1, rook captures on d1, and bishop to d7. Uh, we have h4, and uh, it's a it's an interesting move. Probably, probably preventing black from pushing g5 himself uh, and kicking the knight away from this strong f4 square. 
uh, rook to a8, we have bishop to d2, and now rook f to b8. Uh, and it seems, uh, I don't know, if in, in human terms, uh, probably the, the rooks on a and b file, the queen on b6, uh, is a compensation for the pawn. Uh, so h5 now. Uh, rook captures, we have rook captures and queen to b2, now offering to exchange queens. Uh, alpha doesn't mind, queen captures, rook captures, and we have c3. And it seems like uh, black has a very active rook on b2, but uh, in truth that rook isn't really doing anything there. Uh, the bishop is protecting the pawn, uh, the pawn is, uh, I mean, the central pawn chain is very strong, uh, knight on f3 is protecting the bishop on d2, it can be dislodged, so this is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, rook to b3. Uh, we have rook to a8 check and uh, rook to b8 now. Uh, if king to f7 then g4 and uh, the king is uh, feeling a bit uh, crowded there. So after rook to a8 check, rook to b8, now rook back to a2, rook to b3 back and now g4. Uh, rook to a3, again Stockfish wants to exchange rooks, rook to b2, king f7, we have king to g2, bishop to c8, uh, and bishop to b, uh, rook to b6. Now rook to a6, again offering to exchange rooks, rook to b1, uh, king to e8, king to g3, both Stockfish and Alpha are improving the position of their kings. Uh, h6 now, stopping any g5 ideas. Uh, knight to g6, we have rook to a3 back, and rook to b6 once again. Uh, bishop to d7, protecting the knight. Uh, we have g5, and this is a, this is a pretty cool maneuver, g5. Uh, h captures and now king to g4 preparing to capture uh, with the knight. Uh, bishop attacks rook, rook back to b2, bishop to c8 and now knight captures on g5. Uh, rook to a1, knight back to f3, uh, rook to a3 and bishop to e1 now. Uh, we have bishop to a5 attacking the c3 pawn twice now and here we have rook to f2. Uh, alpha offers stockfish to grab the c3 pawn uh, but Stockfish dec declines, rook to a1. If the pawn was captured, bishop captures on c3, uh, this results in bishop captures, rook captures, and now knight to h4. Uh, now the rook is ready to jump to f8 with check, king moves, then rook back to f7 check and picks up the g7 pawn, uh, and then the h pawn is strolling to victory. Probably something like uh, bishop a6, rook f8 check, king goes back, check, uh, you grab the pawn, and now this pawn is free to free to roll. So after bishop to e2 check, king g5, uh, you probably have to give up this bishop. And uh, okay, you grab the d4 pawn. And for a human, this might be a bit troublesome to convert into a victory, but uh, but not for alpha. And uh, Stockfish knows this. So after rook f2, bishop to, uh, rook a1, uh, bishop to d2 now, uh, bishop back to d8, uh, rook to h2. We have knight to e7 and uh, bishop to g5. Uh, here Stockfish plays knight to f5. If uh, you were to capture on g6, knight captures, this is again winning. After h captures, bishop captures, king captures, uh, probably rook to f1 defending, rook to h8 check, uh, king d7, now king protects uh, knight, and after bishop to a6, uh, threatening bishop to e2 to pin the knight, uh, king to e3 stopping that, and now the white rook is free to grab the g7 pawn. And again, uh, it's a winning position. So after bishop to g5, knight f5, we have bishop captures, king captures, and rook to b2 now. Uh, rook to c1, and now knight g to h4. Uh, knight captures, <coughs> knight captures, and bishop to d7. Again, you don't uh, have time to capture the, uh, the, the pawn on c3. Uh, bishop to d7 comes with the idea of bishop to e8, and then uh, stopping the rook from entering f7. If you capture, then rook immediately to f2, and uh, you can't even stop the rook coming to f7 with the king because knight g6, and again you have the same thing, rook f8 check to, to f7 and then picking up the pawn. So after knight h4, bishop to d7, uh, rook to b8 check, uh, bishop back to c8, and now knight to g2. A very interesting move, uh, here alpha figures out that it has to give up the c3 pawn to, to proceed this game you know, to victory. Uh, rook captures, knight to f4, rook to c1, uh, rook to a8, we have king to d7, king to f3, rook to c3 check, king f2, uh, king to e7, uh, king g2, king f7, and now knight to g6, uh, king goes to e8, rook a1, uh, rook to c7, 
now king h3, rook f7, king g4, uh, king d8, knight to f4, uh, we have bishop to d7, rook to a7 now, king to c8, uh, king to g3, uh, rook e7, knight to d3 now, preparing to jump to c5, king b8, now rook to a6, preparing rook to d6, uh, bishop to c8, rook to b6, check, uh, king c7, and now rook to d6, uh, king b8, and knight to c5, and uh, alpha now controls the, the entire game. Uh, as black, again, is in some sort of a Tsugzwang, it doesn't really have a move. Uh, you can't move the rook uh, because you lose uh, the e6 pawn, you can't move the bishop, you lose the e6 pawn. Uh, and a move like, for example, king to a8, uh, then you get rook to d8, pinning the bishop, king back, and now rook to g8. And uh, you just have to go up the board with the king, pick up the pawn with the rook, exchange rooks, and then push the h pawn to victory. So after knight to c5, Stockfish now doesn't really have a move, it played g6, uh, we have h6, uh, rook to h7, and now simply knight captures on e6. Uh, Stockfish captured the h pawn, but now knight to f4 with a double attack on the g6 and the d5 pawns. Uh, rook h1, knight captures, and now these are two central passed pawns, this is completely winning. Uh, but again... In, uh, from a completely winning position, it will take uh, it will take 18 moves for Alpha to finish the game. Uh, rook h3 check. You do have to suffer a couple of checks, uh, and after after <laughs> Alpha finishes uh, uh, maneuvering, it's uh, I mean it's a completely winning endgame. I will put a PGN in the description below so you can uh, if you want to enjoy this uh, two, uh, two 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 pass pawns in the center ending. Uh, but it's, you know, purely technical. So after rook to f7 check, uh, finally in this position, uh, this is move 95, uh, Stockfish resigned the game. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, what do you think? Is is This is what Alpha tells us. Uh, e4 is bad, but, you know, uh, playing white uh, against the French defense, this is fine. <clears throat> the only thing that's not fine uh, is going for the French through e4. So yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Cameron Tab, Dame Platvarec, uh, Eric Rodovic, and Chris Campbell for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check uh, two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.